Hey guys, Rob Boehner, producer at LiveX here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Bond and Node modules from Teradek. Now, these were announced at NAB, we saw them at NAB, but we've been really dying to get our hands on them because anyone who's dealt with Teradek bonds and 4G bonding cellular in general uh, will tell you that uh, in the process it wasn't as simple uh, for you to acquire the necessary modems and things that you need that are compatible with Teradek products or other bonding solutions. They decided to simplify that and develop modems, 4G, 3G, LTE modems that are much more powerful, two to three times more powerful than the average consumer modem that you would get on a, a USB stick or something of that nature. First, I'm gonna tell you about the Teradex Bond program of how they send the signals to the cloud using Core, their multi-distribution system, by using a Sputnik server in the cloud where the feeds are then demuxed coming off of each 4G stick and combined back into one signal flow for you to be able to stream out to any platform of your choosing. So I know that's a little confusing, so we're gonna explain it a little more in detail as we go through this. This is the new bond module right here. And uh, as you can see on top, it has places for 4G or LTE modems, which can also be Teradek node products, but they will also work with any combination of node and consumer USB uh, 4G Wi-Fi sticks. So one thing you have to be careful of, and this was always one of the big challenges in the past, was that the 4G sticks that were supported by Teradek were more difficult to get your hands on, more of the carriers were moving away from the USB sticks and moving to Wi-Fi jetpacks and things of that nature, which don't work in quite the same way. So we ended up buying a lot of T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, 4G sticks off of eBay, ones that were old, discontinued, uh, because those were the ones that were actually supported by Teradek. And it's to no fault of Teradex, it's just a way for them to be very dumb USB sticks so that uh, there wouldn't be any interference or authentication issues while you were trying to stream over that network. This is a Cube 605, one of ours, that we sent back to Teradek to have retrofitted with the Bon module on top of it. We did this with a lot of our products because we have a lot of Cube 600s, 700s that we wanted to add the new functionality to. So that's uh, what, what this is right here, and basically the Bond just sits on top of the Cube. In the past, the Bond modules were essentially a Cube with 4G bonding added, like our Bond Pros and our Bond 2s. Uh, have been reliable for us and we've used them as backups where you could put in an Ethernet signal, uh, you could connect to Wi-Fi, and you could have 4G LTE modems all utilizing bonding to get your signal out and get it out to the cloud. It's also a great backup solution that uh, anyone who's serious about their program getting out and anybody who's been in live streaming for a while will know that the ethernet in buildings can sometimes be unreliable. You can experience drops. It gives you that security and is an easy sell for your clients for the most part. Let me break open one of these nodes so you can see what that looks like. So once again, these will work with Bond Pros, Bond Twos, the new expansion module, Video Pros, Link, the Cube 600, Cube 700, Cube 800, It'll work with most Teradek products. Uh, we were really excited to see that it also works with video because using 4G hotspots on video can, can also be a pain. So we're really glad to have a more professional solution like this. So here it is. It's a very durable aluminum chassis module here that has a four pin Limo power connector. It also includes an internal battery uh, that only lasts about five minutes, but it's really just so you can hot swap, detap to Limo sources as needed when, when you need to make a battery change. Uh, their Wi-Fi antennas, or 4G antennas, has a quarter 20 mounting point as well as some additional smaller mounting points that look like possibly eighth inch or something. Other things in the box, you have the manual, a quick start guide, you can register your product at teradec.com. And in this box here on the inside, we have your antennas and your Limo connector. As you can see, these are extremely beefy, powerful antennas, which would explain why uh, the node gets two to three times more uh, signal strength than a traditional consumer modem. Verizon had some 
4G sticks that had antennas like this, and I'm wondering if these were kind of borrowed or adapted, or at least the idea was thought of for that design. But um, whatever the case is, I'm glad that it includes both these large antennas, and if you need something a little more compact, you have these small antennas here. On the front here, it looks like you have regular SIM cards, um, and you have a nano SIM adapter and a micro SIM adapter. This is the USB to four pin cable uh, that can supply power to the unit, but I also would recommend getting a DTAP to four pin LIMO so you can power it off your favorite battery, whether that be Anton Bauer or um, even like a SWIT battery on camera. You know, you can uh, have a lot more runtime and portability than uh, being tethered into a USB power brick. Although for longer shows, obviously, putting them all in via USB power is a good idea. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Bond module and the Teradek node. Uh, we're going to get a lot of use out of these. And if you like this video, hit subscribe down below. Follow us on all your favorite social media channels at LiveX Production for this unboxing video and many more to come from our brand new LiveX studios here in New York City. I'm Rob Baynard. Thanks for watching.